speaking with a friend earlier today got on the subject of uh, contentment you know I was thinking that what an insult it is to God that instead of being thankful and content of what we possess what he has provided for us food raiment life living really in this country very comfortable and yet we complain we unthankful for those things that we do not possess I think many times God provides more than enough for people but yet because they spend even more than that they get uncontented until you could be content as a pauper you never can live as a king. A king, it's all about the heart, not the, those things that you possess. You could be a, a man that lives like a pauper and still be as a king. Example, Jesus himself. Scriptures teach us that Jesus didn't even have a place to lay his head down. And yet, he was a king. The king of all kings. And very thankful for his father, towards his father, for all that he possessed. He had raiment, he had food. Therefore, let us be content. Thanksgiving is a sign of faith, and thankfulness is a sign of faithlessness. Uncontentment brings sorrow to your heart, you know, and when you have sorrow, you lack joy. And if joy in the Lord is your strength, then you have no strength. Without uh, strength, Without joy, lack strength, without strength, Satan has bound you in his net of deceitfulness. The lie that Satan uses is that he whispers in your ear that God does not care for you. See, that is your loss of strength towards Satan where he wraps his web of deceitfulness in your life. Do we believe the lies of Satan? Or do we believe the truth of God, where the Word of God says that God careth for you? But Satan will cause us to get our eyes upon those things that we do not have instead of the things that God has blessed us with. That way, we always get into a place of unthankfulness. And remember, unthankfulness is faithless. Scriptures tell us that without faith, you cannot please God. Faith is what brings you through this life. It tells us that we must take the shield of faith. That is our strength, is faith in God's Word.